What's up guys? Hey, we got another little echo on the bench. It's for in for a nose dart. And I've seen this a lot recently. The carburetors are loose. Well, actually the carburetor is not loose. It's the intake manifold bolts that attach to the engine are starting to back out. Let's get this thing tore down and see what's damaged, if anything's damaged, and see if the gasket between the insulator block and the engine might be compromised. If it's good, we're going to uh, remove the screws, inspect the threads, inspect the threads in the engine block, and then we're gonna reattach using some Loctite. The reason that they won't start in this condition is that it creates a massive vacuum leak right here at the intake manifold where it meets the engine block. If you run this thing long enough with that vacuum leak, you could damage an engine because it's causing a super lean running condition. that gasket's compromised, we'll have to replace that. The screws we need to get to are right here and one right behind this gasket here. Yeah, these screws are just loose as a goose. Thing's gonna be much easier to inspect and work on if we'll just remove this little engine cover right here. Now we can move the spark plug wire out of the way and the wire for the ignition kill. You can see the shiny parts of the cylinder head here. That's where it's been vibrating and rubbing. <laughs> you know, upon inspection there, <laughs> that gasket is just disintegrated, is no longer even there. So we're going to put a new gasket. We're gonna check this block and see if it's bad. Here's the new gasket. And if you need the part number for that, in case your trimmer is doing the same thing, you can pause the video and there's the part number right there. Check this block by putting it on a piece of glass and rocking it back and forth. And just make sure that it's not warped or the mating surface is not whooped out. You can also take your baffle plate and just check it this way. Make sure that it's not, you know, worn. Just check it in a couple spots. Good. Just come in and inspect the engine mounting holes, the threads. These look okay. Piston's not scored on the intake side, so we should be able to put this back together with a new gasket and some Loctite on the screws and be good to go. Clean your bolts real good, and I'm just gonna put just a drop of red Loctite on these. And let's go ahead and install the new gasket after I cleaned up the, the old block there. I uh, put it down on the glass and with some 120 grit sandpaper, I just kind of went in a figure eight on both sides. All right, let's go ahead and get this intake manifold reinstalled.
you don't have to kill it, but we are just gonna, you know, snug them up. Mm, that's good right there. Just using a T handle. Let's go ahead and just reinstall the carburetor with that new gasket. <laughs> As old Elkskins says over on Terrell Fixes All's channel, he says, fire it up, fire it up, fire it up. Let's just see if it'll fire her up. install your angina covers right, we got that echo going again and hey if you find some value in these videos let me know and give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button while you're there click the bell so you'll get all my new videos all righty well i'm out and we'll catch you on the next one